And there's no easy way to become rich. If you want to be rich, you got to work hard. Even for scammers, for them to become rich as scammers, they got to scam a lot of people. Yeah. Turkini with Nandini. I really, really don't want to talk about this topic. Like it's a, it's a topic that I would like to avoid usually. But then I feel like um, something I saw hurts me, and um, I don't know. I just want to like ask you guys about it because you know you guys are like old and wise, right? Yeah, Hafiz, good job. Now oh, we're wow. just we're just old. Yeah, yeah, RD, yeah. RD, you go and Hafiz. I'm okay with your uncle. Yeah. Yeah, so, sure. Uncle, all I want to ask is, um, you know, you know, all those like, like, okay, I'm gonna call them weird because they always come off as weird. You know, all those people online who are like, you too can be rich, or you too can be, you know. Oh. That says you have achieved financial freedom, right? This is or the like wealth gurus, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you know? And, and they, they always make it so easy, like, um, uh, this whole, like, financial security and stuff, and, like, earning money or, like, saving money as someone who is, like, close to 30 and, like, still feels like she doesn't quite have the financial situation for <laughs> that. Mm. You know, I always felt like, oh, my God, like, it's just not going to work out, like, right? Mm-hmm. But, like, as you know, wise uncles that you are, do you think that you can actually just follow the advice and then boom, like one year later, you wake up and you're like, I have all this money. No, I doubt it because usually all this wealth gurus, they are more like a pyramid scheme. Mm. Like, you know, they get you a register for it and then somehow once you're in the program, you got to level up by buying other products and you are just feeding the men on top to become richer and richer. And there's no easy way to become rich. If you want to be rich, you got to work hard. Even for scammers, for them to become rich as scammers, they got to scam a lot of people. Yeah, exactly. That's true. That's true. They work very hard. Poor scammers. I, I have to agree with Hafiz. Uh, it also takes a lot of uh, responsibility. You have to be a responsible adult in order for you to achieve financial freedom. So, yes, in a <laughs> sense, you can still, you know, uh, consult these financial gurus or whatever, but you don't have to actually buy their books or yeah. whatnot. You can actually go to their talks because it is kind of encouraging. I've been to one of the talks. It is a bunch of hoopla or whatever, but at the end of the talk, you do feel encouraged to save more money and you feel like, yes, I do want to be financial free by the age of 30 or 40 or 50, whatever it is, right? So at the same time, it all starts with you being the responsible responsible adult uh, in in order for you to achieve that financial freedom. Yeah, right. I, I totally agree right. with that. But like, okay, what? let me ask you guys. What are some of the red flags to know that this person is a scammer or it, he's I'm just not buying it? Uh, to me, he has what? a lot of time flaunting his wealth, like his cars, his house, yeah. mm. all that. Because and, like true rich people uh-huh. like Jeff Bezos, you don't see him flaunting stuff. True. Right? Uh, he kind of does though. Can we... Not really. I think not uh... as bad as this wealth gurus. Okay, yeah. But then again, if you, you can't compare people like like wealth gurus with like someone as established and like, you know, like a public figure like Jeff Bezos. So people know where the money came from. It's very obvious, right? Mm-hmm. All the cheating and stealing, we know, but it's very formal, right? But so, uh, what I think is that, um, like what, like you both said, like maybe it's inspiring enough for you to think about your financial situation. Mm-hmm. I do feel like uh, if you if you can relate to one of them and, and, you know, the advice that they're giving is relevant, maybe you could like personalize the whole thing, the whole idea or like the, the whole advice to fit your financial situation. But at the end of the day, I'm more of the, you know what, why don't you just hire someone to sort out with finances, right? Right. Because they are experts to kind of like help you navigate the very confusing world of finances. But, 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 that too comes from a point of privilege, right? Mm-hmm. Most people, like, let's look at Malaysians, right? So it's, it's like proven, right? Most Malaysians don't have enough retirement savings. And a lot of them live either, you know, kais pagi, makan pagi, or like, you know, they live from paycheck to paycheck. Then you really have nothing to spare, right? Or yeah. like, nor do you have the time to earn extra cash. So people can say, Hashtag do a kerja or, you know, all these things. But where is the time to, to um, sort of like make all this extra money comes from? So I really think that you just have to kind of take this whole thing with a pinch of salt. Like if you feel like it makes you feel better, if it makes like, it, it, you know, kind of gives you like a better insight into the financial world, then sure, go ahead. But I would definitely remind everyone to not just like blindly go join things that they're selling to you. They ask you to save money, but they always ask you to pay money to join them. Like, yes. Hate me, that. Hi, hello. That's part of the program, man. Yeah, so don't fall for that and take everything with like not a pinch, but like I think a gungam of salt. Yeah. It's gungam. Gungam is one 
Fistful of salt, man. That's yeah, a huge fist. Fistful of salt. All right. I was trying to figure out why he's been telling me in English for a minute okay. there. <laughs> I learned a new word today. Congrats. Thanks. Fly FM, today's hottest music.